What's going on guys? This is the one round right today we're here with some Beyblades from a galaxy far far away as we have the Beyblade X Star Wars collab base. Uh, it's still weird to think about that that we have Star Wars Beyblades and not just Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. We have the Mandalorian and Goff Midian as well. Like th this video I'm going to be really all over the place when it comes to that because when I say I never thought I'd be holding Star Wars, Marvel, and Transformer Beyblades in my hands, I mean it. I never thought this would be a thing, but here we are. Now, my biggest complaint before I even get anywhere else is I get it. They're Jedi Knights. That makes sense. Ha ha. D did we have to use like only knight variants for all of these? We had like one drawn sword, uh, and there's another one that's a little different. Uh, and then there's a shark edge, which is nice, or a keel shark, I'm sorry, keel shark. But the rest are all knights, like I'm pretty sure. These are, yeah, these are knights. I think that's wizard arrow, maybe. Or no, that might be scythe. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to this video. This is the next one I'll be doing. I'll get it all sorted out for there. But... Little too much use of the Night Beyblades, but whatever. If it is that's what it takes to have Star Wars Beyblades in hell, here we are. I can't complain, I guess, or maybe I can. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So yes, of course we have Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. I do, I, I get why they went with these two, but I kind of would have liked that they went with uh, Anakin and Darth Vader. It'd been cool to have like the duality of light and dark. Granted, this is his son versus the, the corrupted dad. I get it, but you know, let me complain. You know, I don't hate the images they went with. Like these look cool. I kind of wish they went like these, like this more on the instead of just the. Hi, my name is Luke. Default ass looking face there. But, you know, and Darth Vader, I mean, it's Darth Vader. Yeah, sure, that's what he looks like. Yeah, you yeah. know. Let's get him out of here. Of course, you see the back. It comes with the little poo poo baby launcher. This does come with a black point bit, which is actually really nice. And actually, a black ball as well. So these are decent. The four sided ratchets aren't the best, but, eh, who cares, I guess. For bays that are mainly just going to be for fun. Alright, now channel the force and let it rip. And channel the dark side and let it rip. Ooh. And fold these up like so. I'm not too turned about ripping the box. I'm not keeping them. I might pick up a second set of these. I've done that every time so far. I've picked up an extra set of the collab bays. I have two Transformers ones. I have two of the uh, Marvel ones as well. I believe, uh, but they only had one of the Mandalorian set, so I might have to wait and pick those up later, or find somebody to grab them for me, or just find a different target, you know, um, but I might pick them up just for the sake of it, I mean, they're probably not going to be super expensive, I mean, I say that, but maybe in the future, when they're impossible to get, they might be super crazy expensive maybe but they're not they're literally just for collective purposes they're not that good the only good ones have been uh optimus primal because the mold is good and the weight is actually really good and um venom venom is pretty decent as well because he's just drawn sword and here we go the fancy little poo poo they couldn't even give us winder launchers for 25 bucks nope you, you get the little poo poo ones that are going to live in this box forever but we get the ratchets and the bits of course this this one looks really nice I'll actually i might start using this black one i like it a lot and i like my blue ones a lot too but you know okie smoky so let's get the actual main thing out of here Ah, come on, ah, fucker. All right. To the trash can with E. All right, so of course, here they are out of the box. Pretty fucking cool, honestly. Got the code. I don't think you can scan these. I think they gave up on the Beyblade X American app already because I, I still don't think you can scan Wave 2 at all. And now Wave 3 is already coming out. People have spotted the UX Beyblades and have them in hand. So, I uh. I don't know what Hasbro's doing, but I'm not necessarily against it, I guess. I just wish we had more consistent releases all over the place, you know? 
and then let's separate these by who goes where you get that you get that so to have them here i'm going to disassemble optimus prime over here and my green lance knight because this is the, the default one and they more or less reuse the green coloring i think luke's is a little lighter looking at it here that might just be me making stuff up but i think i think he's a bit lighter in color and then of course he's look nothing alike because they're red um and then i'll take apart thanos here and thankfully i found a lance knight in the wild so i have one of these now i did a short over it and obviously nothing alike uh -uh. but we got two mad space conquerors here which is pretty cool I mean, again, I never thought I'd be holding a Thanos and a Darth Vader Beyblade, but uh, here we are. Now let's do the weight comparisons, and then we can get to the more fun stuff with the battles, because of course I'll be battling everybody against each other. So let's start off with Luke, and see what the Hope of the Universe has in store for us. 30.04, that's not awful, compared to the original Lance Knight. 32.27, ah, I take it back, he might be kind of light. Let's see how Optimus comes out. 30, even Optimus, man, 31.72. So he is definitely the lightest of the Echoes, if you will, by at least a gram or two, which is not good. That's pretty light. But weight isn't everything, you know. Let's try Darth Vader. 30.67, can't even get the 69 nice. Nope, 30.67. Okay, let's try with the OG Lance Knight. 32.43. That's okay. Big weight difference. And then he beats Thanos. He handedly beats Thanos. I forgot how light the Thanos Beyblade was. I really forgot. Well, and then for sake of, I'll weigh the parts. 6.85 and the ball bit 2. 2.05 not bad not bad then we got this one 6.32 and the point bit 2.21 not bad not bad let's throw them all together so we can get the full look also i'm pretty sure they're supposed to be built like their lightsabers in a way and i kind of i kind of fuck with that i don't if this should have been green if that was the case but i mean i guess if the top layer is supposed to be the the lightsaber then this works but i think it going all the way and just giving it a like a maybe a lighter green version of this in the make it a four whatever it is i don't care but this should have shouldn't have been clear i think it should have been green so the full combo 38.95 it's all right and 39.19 wow Darth Vader is actually heavier. I guess that makes sense. Dude's like half metal now. <laughs> but we're going to go in to get some battles here soon. Of course, we'll have the light and dark battle. And then have them battle against their uh, Echoes, Variants, Clones, whatever you want to call them. And I think that'll be fun. And of course, in the next video, we'll do the same thing with Moff Gideon and Mr. Mr. Mandalorian. But if you're ready for some battles, hang out. Because they'll be coming in 3, 2, one. All right, guys, we're back for the battles. Of course, we're going to start with Father versus Son, Luke versus Darth Vader. After the four-point battle, whoever gets to four points, we'll move on to who's the best variant. We'll have Luke go against all the Knight Helm variants, and then uh, Darth Vader will go against all the Lance Knight variants. So we'll start off with these two. And as you can see here, I'm using the Nifty Launcher link from Noozle 3D. If you want to get your own, Use code RIKO at checkout as code R-I-K-O or check the affiliate link down below to get 10% off your entire order with Noozle 3D. They have slip grips, the launcher links, uh, rip cords. They have the extreme rip cord I showed off in a video, which is like ridiculously long and very dangerous, but really, really fun. So check them out and let's get into these battles. Again, we're going up to four points. Three, two, one, the rip. Ooh. Both use, making use of the extreme dash, but none to really capitalize. And the four stands with Darth Vader. On the first one, he gains the first point. Three, two, one. The point bit really doing some work here. But the ball bit is holding on pretty well. 
They're both kind of wobbly. And the light prevails. Score is now 1-1. One, one. These Bay Blazers are just jumping over. I don't have the force to keep them in check, you know? All right. Three, two, one. Ooh. And Luke does a forced jump to come out of the pocket to avoid a three-point deficit. Or that'd be a two-point deficit, but a three-point total lead. And Luke squeaks it out, making the score 2-1. Three, two, one. Three. Luke's looking pretty rough. He might need a hand. Haha, <laughs> I'm very... Ooh! And now Luke takes it, so that's now a 3-1 lead. This is the final battle. Let's go. Three, two, one. Ooh, and a definitive win there for Luke, knocking out Darth Vader. So that means we're going to start with the Knight Helm side of things. We're going to have Luke take on the OG Lance, and then we'll move on to Optimus Prime afterward. All right, let me know who you think is going to win out of these two down below. Three, two, one. Almost hard to tell who's who. And Lance Knight, er, I'm sorry, Helm Knight takes the first win there. Let's go. Three, two, one. Luke circling. Ooh, a big attack and a missed extreme dash. Can the force guide Luke to a victory here? Or is the other knight just too powerful? Ooh, we got some destabilization going on. I think Luke has this one. And he does. Luke is the first one. Or is it not one one, rather? Was that on camera? That was kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. And Night Lance, or again, Night Lance. Knight Helm makes a score 2-1. All right. Three, two, one. And that's my cat problem cheering in the background. He's very loud. He's a sweet little kitten, but man, is he loud. I should do a cat video. There's a cat haul showing off my cat collection of all three of my cats one day. <laughs> Keep that in mind. You guys have kind of seen Ray and a little bit of Oreo. And with that, Lance Knight makes the score 3 1. So Luke is struggling. Come on. 3, 2, 1. Come on, Luke. It's your video, man. You got to win. Ooh. They're both wobbling. Yeah, this one is anyone, anyone's game right now. Ooh, and I have to give that to, to Knight. Knight took that, so the down goes Luke. But let's see if Luke can redeem himself against Optimus Prime. Okay, Optimus did not want to go on the launcher, so he's over here. And my point bit is a little messed up from the first Kansas City Beyblade meetup. It, it met a drawn buster. And uh, yeah, so it looks like that now, but still more or less functions the same, so I'm going to just leave it. Three, two, one. Three. Let's see who will become the last knight. And Luke with the first point takes the lead. Three, two, one. Optimus on the extreme dash right from the get go didn't seem to be too effective. Or maybe it was more effective than I thought. Yeah, an Optimus takes point. 
two to make the score one one. That's confusing, but uh, just trust me. Three, two, one. Ooh, an extreme dash right off the bat to put Optimus in the middle of the stadium. And that makes a score 2 1 with Luke winning just by a hair. 3, 2, 1. Optimus is lurking. And Luke makes it. So this should be match point if Optimus doesn't bring it back. 3, 2, 1. And indeed, there goes Luke with the victory. So in the end, he's one and one on his side for all that. So let's go ahead and have Darth Vader go against Lance Knight. I'm going to get it right this time. Lance Knight. Let's see who wins over here. Three, two, one. Both pretty aggressive from the start. Again, the point bit comes in real clutch with these attack types. I want to conserve some stamina. But well, we got the panded, angled nonsense that puts Lance ahead one point. I don't know how that works, but it did. Three, two, one. Ooh. And Darth Vader comes back with the KO, making the score 2-1. Three, two, one. Ooh. Is that? That is a burst right off the bat. I mean, Darth Vader wins. The Dark Lord cannot be stopped. But can the Dark Lord handle Thanos, the Mad Titan? Now, this is a clash. Even though Thanos is super light and not the best Beyblade. But they both have point bits. So at least probably be an entertaining battle. Let's go. Three, two, one. Force versus the Infinity Stones. Uh, Infinity Stones take round one. Three, two, one. Ooh, a little hop there. Another hop. And the score is even at one, one. Okay, they know Darth Vader didn't want to be there. All right, all right, all right. Three, two, one. Ooh, and a vicious burst from Thanos makes the score three to two. All right, so this could be anyone's game. Three, two, one. Think Darth Vader might take it, and he does. Scores three three all around. Now it's truly anyone's game. This is match point. Who's gonna take it? Let me know who you think down below. Three, two, one. Ooh. Again, the point bit doing work. And that is one of the cleanest ties I've seen in a minute. So we gotta run it back. Neither will give up. Which one will rule the galaxy? Three, two, one. And with the picture-perfect extreme dash, Darth Vader uses the Force to win. So that will end that video right there. Some good, fun battles. Anyway, if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content like this. Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! Fee reviews and Beyblades. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor, the channel sponsor, excuse me, Newsle 3D to get your launcher link or your slip uh, slip grips, whatever you like them. They have little stands to use code RICO for 10% off. Check out the affiliate link down below as well. And like I've been saying, I've been the one, Rao and Ryko. We'll see you guys next time.